it was an incredible, incredible feeling. Um, you know, obviously a lot of backs were flying off the board. So, you know, we knew eventually um, it was going to come, but, um, you know, obviously waited around a little longer than we had hoped for um, and maybe even than we expected. But, uh, you know, once I got that call, it was, it was a great feeling and um, nothing but but joy and happiness and very excited to, to be part of this organization. Braylon, could you just describe your running style for us? Yeah, uh, def definitely very physical downhill. You know, it's, um, you know, I try to, to punish defenders and, um, you know, create contact more than more than take it and absorb it. So, um, you know, that's that's what I'll bring to the Jets, you know, a physical downhill runner, um, more than willing in, in pass protection and um, also able to to run routes and catch the ball um, fairly well as well. So, you know, I think I'm a, a well-rounded back that's, uh, you know, bigger than most. So, um, you know, it's a little different than than what, you know, um, a lot of people are getting. Braylon, how much do you know about uh, Brees Hall and how do you feel like you guys can complement each other? You guys have a little bit of a different skill set, obviously. Yeah, um, you know, I, I enjoy watching Brees a ton. Um, definitely watched him, his, especially his rookie year. Um, watched him a ton and um, definitely respect, you know, his style of play. Um, you know, even in, in college, you know, when he was at Iowa State balling out, um, you know, it's a, he's, a, he's a fantastic football player and somebody I'm very, very excited to uh, work alongside. Braylon, what's I don't think you ran the forty at the combine, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell us what your what your forty time is? And also, I understand you hooked up with uh, Derrick Henry a little bit, maybe through social media, and obviously a big big back. In what ways has he been able to help you provide some you know uh, some knowledge? Um, yeah, so the forty yard dash um, was just dealing with some lower body injuries that kind of um, came throughout the season. Um, kind of perked back up during training. So I um, was unable to run the 40 uh, for those reasons. But um, yeah, Derek Henry, he's been uh, he's been a great resource for me really throughout my, my entire career. You know, I've been very fortunate to, uh, to build great relationships with a bunch of guys that are in the league, um, you know, especially the ones that have came out of Wisconsin and then guys like Derek, um, you know, just being able to, to pick their brains. And, um, you know, most most of my questions are about taking care of your body, um, you know, how he eats, how he recovers, things like that. So all things that I've kind of tried to implement um, throughout my college career and definitely will will take um, with me into the pros. Really, you, you obviously went to Wisconsin where it was a ton of running backs that had a lot of success in the NFL. Just kind of how did that prepare you for this moment? Yeah, so, it, I mean, you, you said it um, growing up in Wisconsin, uh, watching all those guys. Um, come through the school, um, you know, have great careers, win dope walkers, things like that. You know, I, I felt um, that I had to uphold, you know, that tradition um, throughout my career and, you know, try to do that to the best of my ability and um, and make those guys proud and carry on the tradition of barbecue. But, um, you know, I think it's a lot of pressure, especially a kid that came in at, at 17 years old and played at 17 years old my whole freshman season. Um, it's a lot of pressure for a young kid to, um, you know, try to try to, like I said, uphold that tradition. But, um, you know, it made me better. And uh, I think, you know, my career at Wisconsin has definitely, definitely prepared me um, well for the pros. Braylon, what was your what was your interaction like with the Jets during the pre-draft process? Did you visit here and did you get a sense that they were really interested? Uh, no, it was really very limited. Honestly, I, I think I only met with um, the running back coach uh, at the combine during informal uh, interviews. Mel Melvin Gordon specifically, I read, was somebody that you watched when you were even younger. And yeah. so did, did you get a chance to like interact with him over the over these last few years? And, and do, you, do you view yourself as like a, that kind of back? Oh, uh, yeah. Melvin was um, really the reason I, I started playing football um, his last season at Wisconsin. You know, I was in fifth grade and um, I can vividly remember watching him ball out um, against Nebraska. And that being the moment where I decided I want to be a football player. Um, so, yeah, the relationship I have with Melvin is is amazing. He's been a great help for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely I would say we're we're not. Um, exactly the same but there's things ever since i was a child that i've tried to um take from his game so um yeah he's he's been great for me i saw you uh you squatted like 500 pounds in high school what, what can you squat now oh no i i mean my freshman year uh when i first got there i squatted 610. Wow. yeah not too bad Braylon, you just mentioned being 17 when you got to wisconsin i read something that you're the 
that people think you're the youngest player in this draft. Yeah. Did you start school early or how did, how did you kind of end up um, being ahead of, ahead of the, your class there? Yeah. So um, really just, I graduated high school in three years. Um, so when COVID was going on, um, going into my junior year, I had committed to Wisconsin and right before the school year started, um, you know, I just kind of talked to my counselor about potentially reclassifying. Um, so since school was all virtual, um, I just decided to take my junior and senior year at, at once and then get to Wisconsin a year early. 